Hello everyone, and welcome to my young and restless official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Today's Young and the Restless recap airs in the United States on Friday, September 20, 2024, and one day earlier in Canada. We provide wide R recaps every every day. Adam can't believe Connor told him they were reconnecting as a family. Chelsea said Connor simply needed to get it off his chest. Adam does not believe they have been acting differently. Did Connor observe anything Chelsea claims none of this matters anymore? The only thing they can do is avoid giving Connor false hope that they will reconcile. This stung her hard because she believed Connor had accepted that they would never be a couple again. Phyllis and Billy enter the restaurant. Phyllis welcomes Adam and Chelsea. Billy says hi and goes away. Phyllis points at Billy and says he's in a rush. She excuses herself and joins him. Adam tells Chelsea that it was weird. Chelsea reminds him that Billy is angry. Adam believed he could put up a greater act than that. Billy and Phyllis sat at the bar. Phyllis begs Billy to convince her that Chelsea did not dump him for Adam. Victoria hopes Victor will reply to her proposal to buy out Billy. She knows Victor isn't interested, but she hopes he will rethink and offers to withdraw funds from her account if it comes to that. Victor believes that money is not the issue. Victoria doesn't get it then. Victor claims it's about business. Victoria finds that difficult to believe. She turns to Nikki and asks for her assistance. Nikki says she agrees with Victor in this circumstance and believes Billy cannot be trusted to complete a buyout. Victoria understands that they have children together, but she can't always help him. Nick enters the office. Nikki inquires if everything is okay. Nick claims they are not. Sharon panics when she hears Maria that she's in Madison and puts her on hold to speak with Cameron. Cameron claims he informed her this would happen. He wants to know how she plans to pull herself out of this one. Nikki wants Nick to speak with them about what is going on. Nick informs them that Sharon is in desperate need of assistance. Nikki tells him that he claimed he didn't have to worry about Sharon. She wonders what has changed. Nick informs them that Sharon is lashing out at Daniel and Lucy. Victor wants specifics. Nick explains what happened at society when Lucy requested to speak with Faith. Victoria understands Sharon's continued upset. Nick reports Sharon is quite furious, and this isn't a single incident. He's not sure what to think, but Sharon claims the collision brought back dreadful memories for her. He tried to talk to her, but she merely shrugs his questions aside. He urges that they do not judge Sharon and that he be available for much-needed family advice. Sharon informs Maria she isn't in her room. She said she felt lightheaded and walked outside for some fresh air. Maria dislikes the sound of that. She tells Sharon to come back and rest while she handles the meeting. Sharon nervously announces that there is no longer a meeting. Maria is confused. Sharon claims the CEO contacted and his flight was canceled. Maria points out that Sharon came to Madison for nothing. Sharon says it appears they both did. She tells her that she loves her and then hangs up. Adam asks Chelsea if this is how awkward they will feel every time they see Billy or Sally. Chelsea maintains that they caused them significant harm and that they must accept the repercussions. Adam admits she is correct, but claims Billy has also done it. Chelsea admits she cheated on Adam twice and wonders if Billy would ever forgive her. Adam wonders if Billy and Phyllis are discussing them. Phyllis looks at Adam and Chelsea and tells Billy that everything now makes sense. Billy isn't going to inquire what she means. Phyllis refers to the hatred he displayed when he saw Chelsea and Adam. Billy denies Adam and Chelsea's reconciliation and refuses to address it. Phyllis claims that, unless her views are incorrect, something occurred between the two. She says she's only observing and raises her hands. Billy claims she is not just observing. She's looking for gossip. Phyllis insists that she must be aware of some aspects of his personal life. If he has bad blood with Chelsea or Adam, it will have a detrimental impact on him. 
As a result, it will affect their working relationship. Billy claims he's all right. Phyllis claims he does not look it. He appears as if he's about to explode. Victoria admits that she and Sharon aren't best Sharon, friends, no harm. but she wishes. Nikki thinks she's made it clear that the past is behind them and that they've moved on. Nick claims he is on edge and simply wants to talk to someone about it. He explains that Sharon has a doctor, but they don't know if she keeps her appointments or is honest with him. Nikki claims the medication adjustment explanation has been going on for a while. Nick says they believe she is taking it. Victoria wonders who they are. Nick clarifies that he's talking about himself, Maria, and Faith. Victor claims Sharon cannot be kept under constant surveillance. Nick says he wants to bypass Sharon and go directly to her doctor. Cameron is upset with Sharon's decision to cut Maria off, and Maria refuses to give it up now. Sharon claims she wasn't sure what else to say to her. Cameron says she needs to think of something immediately. The telephone rings. Cameron tells her to respond, or Maria will do more than call. Sharon responds as if nothing happened. Maria worries if Sharon is furious at her. Sharon claims she is not mad. Maria must not have heard her before hanging up. Maria says she wants to visit Sharon. It's a gorgeous day outside, and they can spend some quality time together. Sharon attempts to persuade Maria to meet her at home. Maria believes Sharon is attempting to get rid of her. Sharon claims that she simply needed some alone time, which is not surprising. Maria claims Sharon does not sound like herself right now. Sharon snaps at her and tells her to stop pretending it's a social call. She knows Maria visited Madison to check on her. Everything is finally starting to make sense for her. Maria wonders what she's talking about. Sharon adds Faith's persistent demand for her attention lately has made her doubt if she really needed to speak with her and Nick. When she spoke with Faith, everything was fine, but then there was this issue. Maria would really like to speak with her mother in person. Sharon claims she wants the truth. She inquires if Maria and Faith were waiting at home to quiz her further about her mental health. Maria says they are concerned about her. Sharon said the way they treat her makes her feel worse. It must cease. She wonders if they all believe she is that far gone. Billy and Phyllis are still in the bar. Billy knows Phyllis won't let this go. Phyllis inquires how long he has known her. Billy admits it feels too long at times. He tells her that Chelsea and Adam had slept together in Baltimore. Phyllis is apologetic. She inquires if it was just once. Billy says it doesn't matter. Phyllis believes it happens on occasion. Billy claims Chelsea stated it, and he believes her. Phyllis claims that with everything going on with their son, it makes sense that they grew closer, and it just occurred. They formed a bond, and one thing led to another. Billy believes Adam took advantage of Chelsea. Phyllis wonders whether Chelsea said that. Billy emphasizes that Chelsea was upset and antagonized by what transpired whereas Adam continued to lie to Sally even after being caught. Phyllis believes it sounds like he doesn't really blame Chelsea for this and that he might even forgive her. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't miss any updates.